Hi, welcome to Nasha's Art. I'm going to show you how to draw a diagram of a volcano using simple tools like a pencil, rubber, sharpener and some colours. So let's get straight to it. Begin at the bottom of your page and move your fingers up, not to the very middle, but just below. This is where you're going to draw two dots either side and draw the cone of your volcano from either side. First draw one side up and then the other to form the cone of the volcano. At the top we're going to make an oval. This will be the crater at the top of the volcano. A curved line coming down and a curved line going up which creates the crater. Coming down from the crater is a long tube called a vent which leads to the magma chamber at the bottom. All that pressure of melted rock pushes up the vent and out the crater. We're going to draw a straight line or sort of curved line coming down either side and then we're going to continue it down to form the magma chamber below. Curve it round at the bottom so it becomes fatter. This is the magma chamber. In here is where all the molten rock collects. I'm just going to make this bit a little wider on this side. And here is the molten rock that collects in the magma chamber with a lot of pressure that pushes up until eventually the magma pushes up the conduit or the vent and out the crater. Either side of the central conduit or vent, we're going to draw lines that show the layers of ash and lava that have built up over years. Go from the top and curve the lines down to show those layers of ash and lava. Along the bottom, we're going to show a straight line that goes across, demonstrating the Earth's crust, where layers of rocks are shown as part of the Earth's crust. From the central conduit or vent, you can draw side vents. These come off at different angles, sometimes one on one side and one on the other. The central vent ends up where magma pushes out from it and forces its way into new side vents. From the main vent, decide where you want to do your side vents and rub off a little bit of the main vent. And from that gap, you can draw lines out to the edge of the cone of the volcano. And these are where little bits of lava end up being pushed out of the side. You can draw the lava coming down, pouring down the side after. Draw your side vent on the other side. Sometimes one is larger than the other, but they are always much thinner than the central cone. Sometimes there are even pockets where they've pushed out into another area inside the volcano. We're now going to draw the ash cloud that comes out the top. It's a huge balloon of gases, poisonous gases, bits of rock, ash, all in a huge cloud above the volcano. I'm also going to have lava flowing down from both of the side vents, the secondary vent and this other one, and out of the main conduit here. So let's draw that in. If you rub the corner off here, we can show 
some lava rolling down and perhaps out of here some lava rolling down it will be much easier to see that's lava when we come to color it and maybe some on the other side will do the same I've rubbed off the back of the ellipse and I'm going to have more lava rolling down Out of the top of the volcano er erupts lava, ash, poisonous gases and sometimes bits of rock. Which can rain down on anyone anything nearby. The very last thing I'm going to draw is something called a pyroclastic flow and that is where ash and pumice and poisonous gases travel at extremely high temperatures out of the volcano and they roll down in billowing rolls of great clouds of dust and ash and poisonous gases that travel at very high speeds and are boiling hot. So this here will be the pyroclastic flow. Okay, let's get labelling. Up here we have the ash cloud. Ash cloud full of poisonous gases and ash and sometimes pumice and bits of rock. Here we have the lava flow. And this is the pyroclastic flow. pyroclastic flow. We have the crater at the top that everything comes out of. And coming down from that, we have the main vent or the conduit. Vent or conduit. Down at the bottom we have the molten rock collecting up in the magma chamber. Magma chamber. We have the earth's layers or layers of rock layers. This is the Earth's crust. We have a secondary vent or side vent. And we have layers of hardened rock and ash. Hard rock and ash. Once you've drawn and labelled your diagram then feel free to colour it in with felt tips or colour pencils. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful Maybe you want to check out my pop-up series where I show how to make earthquakes, volcanoes and tsunamis as a pop-up book. If you love this tutorial, please do like and subscribe and check out my artwork on Insta at Nash Henkel Art.